How you doing, everybody? Today we're going to take a quick look at Creed 3. This was directed by and stars Michael B. Jordan, and also stars Tessa Thompson and Jonathan Majors. After facing every opponent they've thrown in front of him, Donnie has decided to retire as the undisputed heavyweight champion of the world. But then a figure from his past, Damian Anderson, comes back into his life after getting out of prison. And it soon becomes clear Diamond Dame wants the life that Adonis Creed had, and will stop at nothing to get it. I very much enjoyed the first two Creed movies. I don't think the second one was as good as the first, but I still liked it. And I still think Stallone should have won the Oscar. And Creed 3 is yet another solid entry. This was really good, and Jordan may have a future as a director if this is any indication. Majors is having one hell of a year. He's played two huge movie villains in as many months. And he is on fire here. The jealousy and rage is just palpable every time he's on screen. Even when he's trying to be friendly, you can still see the rage boiling under the surface. It's a great performance. And he's the best kind of villain. You don't like the guy, you don't agree with his methods, but damn it, he has a point. I really like Donnie's relationship with his daughter Amara, played by Mila Davis-Kent. Like her mother, Amara is hearing impaired, and that goes for the actress as well, and she was great. And we get to see that Donnie and Bianca have very different parenting styles when it comes to handling their daughter getting in a fight with a bully at school. And honestly, I'm on Donnie's side. Sometimes a punch to the face is the only thing a bully will respond to. And he does his best to teach her that boxing is about control, not just senseless violence. Which also comes into play with his fight with Dame. And it seems like they may be planting the seeds for Amara possibly growing up and becoming a boxer in Creed 4. We'll see. There is a bit of Rocky DNA in here, specifically from Rocky 3 and 5. Thankfully, the good parts. The movie's climax is not a pointless street fight, thank God. And Diamond Dame definitely has a bit of both Clubber Lang and Tommy Gunn in him. Stallone is not in front of the camera in this movie, but his influence behind the camera as a producer is definitely felt. And as this is a boxing movie, there are plenty of fights, and overall they are shot pretty well. I will say in the first fight, they were pretty obviously standing in front of a green screen. They definitely did not spend too much of the budget on that one. Most of the money went to the fight at the end of the movie between Donnie and Dame, and it's fucking amazing. There's a point in the fight where it starts to get kind of surreal, and the crowd just fades away, and we start to see elements of Dame's past, including the prison bars and stuff from the group home where he and Donnie grew up. It's just very well done. And very effective use of slow-mo without overdoing it. There's one really cool shot where they are punching each other in the face simultaneously, and it looks like something out of an anime. I'm not sure which one. Probably several of them, actually. Overall, outstanding boxing movie. I have very few complaints. Uh, Jordan is great in front of and behind the camera. Like I said, Majors is having a hell of a year, and I highly recommend checking it out, especially if you were a fan of the first two Creed movies. And that's all I have to say about Creed 3. Till next time. Take care.